Welcome back. In this video, we're doing question five, which is to implement a mathematical equation. Uh, so the equation we're doing is for generating uh, pyramidal numbers. Uh, that's all well and good. The bit we actually care about is the formula here and how we're passing our arguments to the formula. So in the formula, we have a variable n, and that's going to be in register one. And then we want to save the result of this into register zero. So let's open up VS Code, and here's what I prepared earlier. So we have our formula here. Now, to make things a little bit maybe easier to understand, we'll, um, we'll substitute in R1 everywhere we've got an N, just so we can really visualize the maths going on here. Let's say R0. Okay, so R0 equals S of R1, which is uh, this nice mathematical blob of an equation here. Okay, so let's let's get the show on the road. So just remembering that R1 contains N is the most important thing. So we'll do, remembering our order of operations, we'll do these two adds first. Let's add R2, R1, and 1. Okay, so what I'll, what I'll actually do is I'll write a comment after each line to say what I'm actually doing for this one. So I'm just doing a cheeky way to do a multiply by 2 here with an LSL and then add R3 1 So these two lines do our 2n plus 1 so we're multiplying by 2 and then we're adding 1 to it Now we want to do a mole into R0, R2 and R3. So now we're, we're doing this multiplication here. Mole R0 with R1, which is this first initial N over here. So we're, we're multiplying by N. And now the last thing we need to do is divide by 6. Now, unfortunately, we can't divide by a constant, so we'll have to move 6 into a register. Now, let's use R4, 6. We'll do an unsigned division into R0 of us, 0 divided by R4. So that's doing all of our equation now. Cool. So this should be relatively straightforward to follow through. Uh, let's run it in the debugger and see what we get. Okay, we're building happily. Nice. Okay, so we'll use 8. Now, in case you are thinking, why can't I just hard code this number? The idea here is that this number could be sort of any integer, right? So don't just think, oh, look, I can count to 8 here and just move this number into R0 and get a perfect solution. No, that's not what we're looking for. We want this to be able to be changed and your function is still getting the, the right output. Okay, okay, let's get that registers up here. All right, so I'll put all of these into um, decimal format just to help you see what what's going on. Now, some of these registers contain garbage, uh, like R2 contains garbage at the moment, but we're about to write over that. So N is the number 8, and we just added 1 to it to get 9, and 2N, there you go, 16. So 2n plus 1, uh, 8 times 2 is 16, plus 1, we get 17. Okay, now we multiply these two together, get 153, multiply it by n again, we get a big number, and then we divide by 6. And our result is 204. Now if we go back here and count along, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we've got 204. Uh, wonderful. Our, our function works for the number 8. Let's chuck in 10. So this is the 10th pyramidal number. We should get 385. Um, so we'll just put our decimal 10 up in here. Now I'll set a breakpoint at the end so my code just runs all the way through and we don't have to step. Okay, we'll go to main and zoom, zoom. See you later, dude. 
and we get 385, which is the correct number. Wonderful, okay, so we've implemented this mathematical equation. So it's kind of like in high school, the first time you ever did algebra, and your math teacher probably taught you uh, bod mass, which is like brackets, uh, something, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. So you just, just do sort of every elementary step in the correct order of operations and you know, sort of just implement your way through your math till you finally get the full equation and you should get the expected result.